the most exciting day in sports. It's game time. With the best recipes. The best fuel. And the best grill. It's time for the big game at, at the Rec Tech. America, how are you? Hope you're doing well today. Welcome to Big Game Eats, brought to you by Rec Tech, powered by Kingsford. Man, we had a lot of football coming on yesterday and Saturday. Had some big games. Uh, we're, we're, it's, it's dwindling down, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It is dwindling down. We're getting ready for that big game. We're getting each and every one of you some amazing recipes that you can take either have at your house and do a little bit of home gating or you could take these recipes make them and take them to other folks houses okay for the big game last night the pack rolled right over the Rams just like I said they would ladies and gentlemen Rams didn't stand a chance the Bills the defense man uh, only scored three the uh, Ravens only scored three points yesterday uh, the Chiefs came out victorious now now that was a good game, but we're having They can hear me now, John. Yeah. Okay, all right. I was talking a lot of smack about you. Sorry about that. But uh, we had a little technical difficulties. But this is Big Game Eats. We're getting you guys ready for the big game. That's right. The uh, Soup Herbal. The Soup Herbal. Uh, that's what we're going to call it today. But again, could they not hear me during my whole spiel, John? You don't think? You think they heard me? I'm going to go through it again. The yeah, pack. They did. They, they did. did. Okay. All yeah, right. And then the, the box. Yeah. Then the box. Rolled right over the Saints, okay? So we've got Tom Brady going to Lambeau Field to face the pack uh, and Aaron Rodgers. And then we've, then we've got the Bills uh, going in to play Patrick, uh, injured Patrick Mahomes. I'm sure he'll be there. I'm sure he's got like a mild concussion. Um, but, but hopefully he's doing good. But a lot of good football on Saturday and Sunday. And I know yesterday was a little bit more exciting to me uh, than Saturday was. But when well, we're getting you guys ready for the big game, giving you some amazing tailgating, some amazing home gating recipes that you can take and uh, cook for folks and impress people with, okay? Uh, John Pinnell, he's on the ones and twos. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. We'd love to answer any and all questions that, we, that, that you have. Today, we're gonna be doing those Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Wings. That's right, Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Wings. And then we also have some delicious barbecue sauce from our friends at the 43 Get Grill in Alabama uh, that we'll talk about a little later. But they want me to stick to a time frame for these, so we're going to stick to about 10 minutes, okay? Um, uh, we've got regular wings that we're about to pull off and sauce, and then we've got some lollipop wings that we've done as well. Those are, we'll show you guys uh, how to butcher those up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But come on in here, Sherpa. Get on in here. I want to show these folks what we're working with on both grills. I got the RT590 rolling right along, burning those Kingsford pellets. And look at the beautiful color on these Bloody Mary wings. Now they've already been sauced once uh, and they're about to come off and we're about to toss them in some sauce again. We're using that Rectech stick resistant cooking mat there. It's got some beautiful color on both sides of those wings. You can see some beautiful color, some crispiness, some bubbly bubbly coming up. Those look absolutely amazing. Rolling right along at 400 degrees. It takes about one hour, uh, give or take, about five to 10 minutes in either direction to cook wings on the RT590. Now the bullseye, uh, it's gonna cook them a little bit quicker at 400 degrees, it's about 45 minutes. 
Uh, so you want to keep your eye on that. But we're burning the bullseye in the RT590 tonight, today for today's recipe. Um, and sure, I didn't want to show them, but I want to show them now. Come on, get on here and check out these little lollipop wings. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, those we're things look to delicious, show you guys Jody. How to butcher up those lollipop wings and put that in your arsenal. You are going to impress people when I show you how to do this. Uh, but those are not all drumettes. Yeah. Some of those are flaps. Okay. So I'll show you that in a little bit, John. But again, they like for me to keep this to about 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to keep it to about 15 minutes whole for the show. Guys, make sure you smash that share button for us and share this all over the internet. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, and we are here live at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. We're burning Kingsford pellets. We're cooking on Rec Tech grills, and we're making amazing food. Make sure you share this video. Today, we're doing Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Wings. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overthink it, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull these off because they are ready already. And we're going to toss them in some sauce. I'm going to show you guys how to make that sauce uh, right here. So get on in here, Sherp. You guys can hear that clanging. Once we put these in this bowl, these things are clanging around there. They've got some caramelization. They are nice and crispy. Good tip here. If you want crispy skin on your wings, your turkey, or any other poultry, stay above 300 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. Stay above. 300 degrees, okay? Uh, we are cooking right along at 400 degrees, and that's gonna give us beautiful crispy skin as well as a juicy, juicy bird. I've got some already made up sauce here. We'll show you guys how to make it, but this is just our Dirty Girl Bloody Mary sauce. We jazzed up some of the, oh yeah. Look at that, that's nice and thick. Ooh, I love that sound. Smash that share button, guys. Three, two, one, smash it, thick. John, you love that sound? That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's squishing around yeah, in there? Yeah, squishing around. But again, moisture is the enemy of crispy, ladies and gentlemen. So you don't want to leave it in this sauce too long. We're going to put them back on the grill real quick like. And then we're going to let that sauce caramelize and jazzercise and marry into that chicken. And then we'll pull them off and then we're, we'll be ready. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But we got cast iron skillet in the RT590 rolling at 400 degrees. I'll show you guys how to make that sauce in just a second. So I, I showed you those lollipop chicken. Oh, John, we got to start the clock. Did you already start the clock? I, started, oh, I got crap. you. As soon right, as you, cool. as soon Woo. as you pulled stuff off, I started. The Perfect. Clock. All right. So I got 10 minutes to do this. I'll show you guys. I've already got some butchered up right here. We've got some whole chicken wings. Okay. Most of the time they'll come whole. Uh, sometimes they will come already cut. And, and in that case, you were looking at this situation right here, okay? Sometimes they'll come cut and they'll cut off the flapper as well, so you're left with both flat and drummy, okay? Done, easy. Let me show you guys how to make a uh, drummy, a drumstick. Smash that share button, give us a like, give us a love. So we're just gonna cut right there at the membrane. So you're gonna, this is gonna be the harder one to do. You'll take your chicken, just like this, you take a very sharp knife and just go around the edge, okay? Very sharp knife, be careful, don't cut yourself. But you'll go all the way around the edge. And then you'll just push that meat down. If you're lucky, these membranes will stick out and you can actually pull those off, okay? Push all that meat down and because we separated this meat here, it's automatically going to shrink up towards this knuckle that it's already attached to, okay? And if you've got some extra stuff right here, you clean it up, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now this recipe, guys, if you, if you don't want to feel like following along, will be available at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Make sure you sign up to get that sent to you via email. John, we got any good questions out there before I show them, before I blow their minds? They're, you're blowing their minds right now. We have 357 out here and they are loving it. Smash that share button, guys. We're showing you how to do lollipop chicken wings. We're also showing you how to do uh, Dirty Girl Bloody Mary sauce, okay? Easy peasy. So, uh, a lot of folks think that you can't turn this into a drummy. I beg to differ, okay? I like to cut this extra skin off. It's just gonna give you issues, okay? So, you can see how it has a natural bend in this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to bend it in the opposite direction and I'm going to push my heel of my hand into it and it pops both of those bones out. Now what we're going to do is 
because I'm going to pull out that smaller bone. Okay. Then I'm going to take my knife, separate the wing, and now we have a little drum. Look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, ladies and gentlemen. Don't overthink it. You too can make amazing food just by watching these videos, purchasing these amazing grills, and burning Kingsford pellets. Okay? I'll do that one more time for you. I know I did it kind of fast. Okay? I like to cut that extra flap off. Okay? And again, it's got a natural bend in that direction. We're going to go in the opposite direction. Now, Jody, could you do this exact same thing with a turkey wing? You can. You can do this with chicken legs. You can do this, you know, however you like. Some folks do it a little bit different way, um, but this is how I uh, do it best. Okay. And again, you're isolating those two bones. You twist the smaller of the two. You pull it out. We can separate the flappy now from the wing. And you've got a little drum. Easy peasy, guys. Don't ever think it. Now, we gotta, we got to cook these wings. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover them with a little bit of seasoning first. I'm not going to add any oil. This chicken is pretty wet as it is. So that's going to actually hold on our Dirty Grill seasoning, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get these on here. 400 degrees, it takes them about an hour to cook. First thing we're going to do is we're going to season them up heavily with that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. And you got to get yourself a BFB. John, what is a BFB? A BFB? Yeah. A big freaking bowl? bowl? That's right. To that's mix right. everything in. You go find so those at Amazon. That's right. That way you're not making a big mess. John, what time? Oh, we got four minutes left. Yeah, you're oh, you're cruising, Lord. brother. Cruising, you're baby. Cruising. cruising. Easy peasy. So again, you want to make sure that they're well coated and well seasoned. Okay. Don't, don't miss some spots because this is an important part about getting that Bloody Mary seasoning on there, okay? Now, Jody, uh, answer me this. Are you uh, a guy that lets your seasoning rest on your chicken after you've seasoned or you go straight on Absolutely, to absolutely. So in a perfect world, we would let this rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. I actually would put it back in the refrigerator and help, and help dry out some of that skin. That's why we didn't put any oil on the outside of this. We want that skin to, to be really dry so we can get a good crispy bite out of it. So by the power of television, you guys saw those. We've already sauced them. Now I need to show you how to make the sauce, okay? We've got the R. T590 with that sear kit, uh, not sear kit, cast iron skillet on the inside, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to do a little oil on the inside. We'll take two cups of the bloody, uh, I used mild, the mild because I don't want a, a lot of spice. I'm going to get a lot of spice from that extra barbecue sauce that That's I have. Right. So we've got two cups, oh yeah of our Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Rub, available at dgmixers.com, dgmixers.com. We're going to add, I don't know, about a tablespoon of two of Worcestershire sauce. We're going to add, everybody loves it, about a quarter cup of light beer. Oh, yeah. We're also going to add the zest, two limes and the juice of two limes. Now again, guys, if you don't want to follow along, this recipe is available at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Juice of two limes. John, does that look good or what? It looks so good. You got a lot Jace. of folks out there. That, got are a they lot asking of any good questions or anything like Th that? They're really just amazed at how uh, delicious this looks right now. Uh, all the questions you've answered so far. What pellets are we burning again, Jody? Oh man, that is a good question. I believe we're burning those uh, Kingsford Hickory pellets That's today. Right. Um, I didn't swap them out, but that is definitely what we're using. I don't know what the they. I don't know what the uh, recipe recommended. But that's what we're burning. But that we are burning hickory, baby. That's right. Now, Two minute warning. Give us a good bowl flavor. It's going to give us good traditional flavor, uh, almost bacony uh, flavor uh, in the taste. So I know that we have those. Um, drum drummy drumstick lollipop uh, chicken wings as well we're gonna sauce those up 
with some of this barbecue sauce. Now this barbecue sauce came from my buddies at the 43 Grill, Mr. Jason Davis. Okay. They're up there watching us out of Russellville, Alabama. I love it. So we're gonna use this barbecue Shout sauce out. to uh, sauce up some of those lollipops. And again, that uh, Dirty Girl, Bloody Mary barbecue sauce is sitting in there, 400 degrees. It's, it's marrying together with the Worcestershire, with the light beer, mm. with the lemon, yeah. with the lime juice, excuse me, the lime zest. It's all marrying together. Oh, yeah. It's all getting to know one another, mm -hmm. okay? What we're gonna do uh, after it gets to know one another, after it starts to marry together, we're gonna hit it with a little corn starch slurry. Now, yeah. corn starch slurries, some of you chefs out there know, uh, this helps thicken sauces up. So we're gonna add this little corn starch slurry uh, to help thicken that sauce up because it's going to be minute. super, super thin, okay? Now, well, I guess we can uh, show you guys once again. Come on over here, Sherpa. Check them out. Look at that sauce right there. It's looking good. There you go. And we've sauced these wings twice again. When I put them on the grill, I sauced them and uh, while they cooked. Uh, and then we sauced them again and threw them back on the grill again, okay? So we're going to take our corn starch slurry. Add it to her sauce. And you guys can see almost instantaneously that stuff thicken up. Okay. Jody Scott Smith asks, will any Bloody Mary mix work? Absolutely, like absolutely. Any Bloody Mary mix will work. Uh, definitely ask your grocery store if you can get that Dirty Girl uh, Bloody Mary mix for sure. Um, but it looks like we're done. Check it out, Sherpa. Look at those Bloody Mary wings for the big game. Holy moly. Now this took about an hour at 400 degrees. Again, when I put them on the grill, I put that sauce on them, okay? We let them go about 45 minutes, about 50 minutes, and then we sauced them again, and then we threw them back on there. Total time, about an hour, uh, sauced twice, okay? Now, um, come on over here, Sherpa. You guys wanna see this too. Oh yeah. Some good sauce right there. That's what we want to see right there. All right, there. so we are using the not tangy from barbecue sauce from 43 Grill. So what we'll do is we'll take these little guys, dip them just like so, and we'll put them right back in there. We're burning uh, the Kingsford Hickory pellet, and, and we're burning and we're going at 350 degrees today on the RT B380 Bullseye. Jody, we got a question from Angelo Saxton. He asked, uh, what's the best way to clean the temperature probes on the inside of the grill without damaging them? Uh, well, um, there's really no need to kind of clean the temperature probes on the inside. Um, you can hit it with a uh, hit it with a wet paper towel. Um, but unless you see a lot of debris building up, there's really no reason for you to have to clean that bad boy on the inside. Very good question, though. You do need to clean your fire pot out about every three, uh, four to five cooks, excuse me, and let your grill run itself empty about every uh, four to five bags of pellets. Man, these look absolutely amazing. They that smell barbecue so sauce delicious. smells good too. I can't so wait to good, taste Jay. them. So good. But we're saucing these up. These are only going to take about five more minutes to let this sauce glaze up. Easy peasy. Don't overthink it, everybody. 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour uh, on the bullseye. And the reason why the bullseye cooks a little bit quicker is because it's got that more direct flame action. It's got that more direct heat. There's only one piece of metal between the meat and the heat. So that's a totally different environment uh, than you say the 340, the 590, the 700, because there's two pieces of metal between the meat and the heat uh, on that grill as well. But check out these wings. Let me pile them up and make them look pretty uh, for Mr. Charlie Weir. But smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Wings yes, sir. for the big game. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong. Yes, sir. Touchdown They're every super, time. Super, super easy. Touchdown every time. John, thank you very much. We got any good questions out there, John? Um, let's see. We also had a you, question. You can make these as spicy and or as mild as you like. Lorraine Linder wanted to know, what's up with the color difference on the inside of the 590 lid? What's up with the color difference on the inside of the 590? Yeah. Come on in here. So it looks, uh, so we've got grease on this side, and then we've got more ash and just heat on this side. 
So uh, there's there's no issues whatsoever. Um, we just had greasy chicken wings, splashing grease both up, both up on the inside, as top as well as the bottom. You guys can see down here that the drip pan is dirty uh, as well, and we're going to need to clean that foil before we do another cook because all of that grease is burning. It's actually radiating heat up towards our food, so it would actually cook our food uh, quicker in this situation. But you can see the sauce over here. It's super, super thick now compared to what it was. Oh yeah, buddy. And again, you season your wings both at the beginning of the cook as well as about 10 minutes before they are done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But I want to look at, I want to check out these wings too. We're going to pull these bad boys off. I'm so glad I was able to show you guys how to lollipop today. Yes, sir. If you guys have any questions about it, just reach out to me. Follow me on all social media at BBQ Dad Jody. You can't go wrong. These little things look like little little bundles of joy, John. What do oh you yeah, think? they do. Bundles of joy that are about to be in my mouth. A lot of folks didn't know this, but we actually won the world, uh, the Frank's Red Hots World Chicken Wing Championship in Memphis in May in 2018 Shoot, on yeah. the Bullseye Shoot, RTB yeah. 380 with lollipop wings shoot yeah so a lot Jody. of folks didn't even know that but we want it all with these wings right here smash that share button guys give us a like give us a love thank you to the men of 43 grill for bringing this barbecue sauce to us i know it's going to taste absolutely amazing john you want to taste these before we get the heck uh, you, out of here you know i do jody um but guys stay tuned all week we're going to be doing barbecue classics that's right barbecue classics don't sleep on this week Don't do it. a lot of great content um, you're going to try one of those? I'm going yeah. to try one of these Bloody Mary wings that we did, too. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, America. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look mm -hmm. at that. Mm -hmm. That Bloody Mary wing, it reminds me <laughs> of waking up on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. Getting that old hair of the dog. In yeah, your, you know buddy. What I'm saying? Mm. And that barbecue sauce is setting these lollipops on fire. It is so right. good, Jody. So good. We got to smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. We really do appreciate you. Again, we've got a couple more weeks before the big game, so we're going to be bringing you uh, every Monday, 12 noon, Eastern Standard Live, right mm. here. New recipes, new tips, to, new tricks. Make sure you subscribe to the Kingsford and RecTech YouTube channel. A lot of amazing com uh, content coming up. But from everybody here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia, we'll see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, do, do. Mm. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it. Hey, hey. And come get it. You know. When the sun starts going down. When's that? Live your life the way you like. Okay. It's